In this example, we will be explaining when to use multiplicity versus when to use multiple part properties. So with that, we'll get started. So in our example here, we have three different vehicles, the Ford Fiesta, the Ram Dually, and the NASCAR. Uh, it's important to know that the Ford Fiesta, all the wheels are exactly the same. The Dually, the front wheels are different than the back wheels, and the NASCAR, all four wheels are different. So we'll jump to our SysML diagram. So for our Ford Fiesta, because all the wheels are exactly the same, we'll just have one part property with a multiplicity of four. And this is the simplest way to model it. For the Ram Dually, since the front wheels are different than the back wheels, we would have one part property of multiplicity two for the front wheels and one part property of multiplicity two for the back wheels. And that's the best way to model it. For the NASCAR, because every single wheel is different, we would have multiplicity of one or undefined because undefined is one. Um, we have four different part properties, left front, right front, left rear, right rear. And you can see how it makes the internal block diagram more complicated. Um, so it, you might ask, why would I not just use four part properties for my Ford Fiesta? And that is valid, um, but it is making it more complicated than it has to be. So the design guidance is, when in doubt, use the simpler, higher level of abstraction. So you can actually model you know, a, a RAM with front, left, front, right, back, left, back, right as well. And there's no, there's no issue with that, but uh, re using as much reuse as possible is important. Um, so maybe I can give you an example. We'll, we'll go ahead and make this wheel is abstract uh, here. And then we'll just say the normal wheel. This is for the front wheel of your RAM. And then we'll have the, the dually wheel. So this is the thicker wheel. This is the normal wheel. So now when we run this in simulation, it has, we have back and then front and it defaulted to using all dually wheels. So we would need to, you know, explain um, that the back goes with the dually and the front goes with the normal wheel. But what we could do in our, um, in our simulation here is we could just right click, remove value, right click, remove value, and then right click add value and then we'll just select the normal wheel. And so I only had to select it one time because um, it would, you because there's one part property for front, it, it basically makes them both the same. So if you then go to the Ford Fiesta and run this in simulation, it will default to the four dually wheels because it's alphabetized D is before N. Um, but you could remove these values here and then you could add the value of normal wheel. And you see how it automatically adds all four normal wheels. So I do the same with the NASCAR. If I remove the value, add a normal wheel. It only adds a normal wheel for that left front. I would have to go in and change every single one of these and able to get them to be the, the correct type of wheel. So if you've got a lot more than four here, you can see how this would be cumbersome. Um, and you just need to model for reuse, which is really important, and uh, use the higher level of abstraction when you can. So hope that helps.